Hey, good morning, sweet peas. Basic prepper mom, Myra. It's a Saturday and I'm on my way to work because it is that time of the season. Anyhow, so the reason I started this channel was because I was being a kind of prepared type person and I was kind of talking about it a little bit on my Facebook page, my private Facebook page. And I had some friends reach out and go, look, I understand things are getting bad. I really want to be prepared for my family. I don't know where to start. It's so overwhelming. Um, you know, I, I listen to other people talk and they've been doing this for, you know, 5, 10, 15, 30 years, their whole life, whatever. And it's very overwhelming. So I don't even know where to begin. And I understand the overwhelming because I have to admit, when I first started realizing that, you know, we might just need to be preparing for something here, I did kind of a couple of panic buys. And I ended up going out and spending way too much money than we could afford at the time. And I put it all, to be honest, I put it all on a credit card. I was like, I'm gonna figure this out later because I have to protect my family. I have to make sure that my family's safe. And that was my only goal. I didn't care what, how, who, where, what, whatever. I had to make sure that my family was taken care of. And as a mom, when you hear something about your family being in danger, especially your children, if they're in danger, um, if there's a possibility of them being, of going without, you tend to go into like this survival panic mode. So I started this channel to kind of help people to do this slowly and to not do that initial panic. But like I've said before, I still struggle with this. I still go into these panic buys of, oh, I don't have everything that I need. I honestly 100% don't believe that you can ever be prepared for every situation that's out there 100%. I think that you could be prepared to the best of your ability and I think that you could be prepared enough, but I don't think anyone, there's always gonna be that little tiny chance that something comes up that you're just not prepared for and that's okay. That's why you have your community. That's why you build that community because one person by themselves, I honestly think cannot do everything. So that's why we build up our communities. But the first thing, the most important thing, and I think as things start to really deteriorate and more and more people are starting to see shortages or, or price increases or whatever the situation that there happened to be in at that time, there's gonna be more and more people that are going to start kind of doing this quiet panic where they know they have to do something, they're not sure what and they're not really sure who to talk to, and they're not sure what to even talk about. Like, do I have anything to talk about? Do I have anything to panic about? So I wanna make sure that everyone is doing a little something. Because in my opinion, something is better than nothing, and even the smallest preparedness can help you. It's definitely not gonna hurt you. Even the smallest preparedness can help you. And when you even do those little small preparedness things, it's going to kind of put you at ease a little bit. It's going to make you feel good. It's gonna make you go, okay, I can now take a breath and maybe focus on something else. First and foremost, and probably the easiest thing to do is to just get some canned goods, canned vegetables, canned fruit, honestly. That is the easiest and probably cheapest thing that you could do other than rice and beans. Bags of rice and beans, absolutely. Um, white rice, not brown rice. We, we've talked about that before. Brown rice does not last as long because the oil's in it. White rice, just plain white rice. A bag of pinto beans, just rice and beans. Those are, those are gonna be your cheapest. And just grab some canned veggies literally the easiest and cheapest and for sometimes depending <coughs> sorry <coughs> sometimes depending on where you go you can get a flat which i know you're 12 cans yes 12 cans a flat of veggies or fruit depending on what it is for two or three dollars for a flat okay that would be the easiest and you always know that you have that built up and especially if you get canned veggies and you have rice and beans you've got so many nutrients right there and and it's definitely a filler definitely a filler so um 
that would be my suggestion is just if that's something that you could if you could only focus on a few things if you could only focus on a couple of things and and you're and you don't have a lot of money rice beans canned veggies and fruit throw some fruit fruit in there too because you know nobody wants scurvy so but um canned fruit and veggies and rice and beans super simple to start with put them away you don't even have to get the big giant bags you can just get the smaller bags of rice and beans which are only like a dollar or two a piece um so super simple super cheap and it'll make you feel good and it will give you some security that you do have something stored up if for some reason we end up in a situation where you need it so that is my suggestion start with the beans rice and canned fruits and veggies and um work on other stuff from there but focus on that all right hope you guys have a wonderful amazing day as always if you have any questions or comments reach out to me and i will talk to you guys later have a great day